And the next thing that I want you to do, as soon as you have this attitude of gratitude going for you, tell yourself you're going to enjoy the day. Say it to yourself, you know what, I'm going to enjoy the day. This is going to be a good day. Visualize how you want your life to go. Visualize yourself having fun with your fellow workers, the people you're working for who are working for you. Doesn't matter. Just visualize yourself achieving the goal. And always, always find the laughter within you and around you every day of your life. And that should start in the morning before you leave the house. There's humor all around you. We get so caught up in our thought process on what needs to be done, we let all the funny stuff in our lives just pass us by. How many married people are out there? Raise your hands. How many married people? Oh, there's humor there. <laughs> oh, there's humor there. As a matter of fact, it's essential. I always said a sense of humor is probably the num number one thing that can keep a couple together. Humor, a sense of humor. But if you read Oprah Magazine and if you read Cosmopolitan, they'll tell you the key to a healthy relationship is to understand your partner. Oh, really? That's absurd. You'll never be able to understand your partner. The only thing you need to understand is that you will never be able to understand your partner. It's impossible. You'll go out of your mind trying to do it. Hey, I've been married to my wife for 25 years. Till this day, I can't understand why I have to get in trouble for dreams that she has. <laughs> Guys, you know what I'm talking about? You wake up in the morning, good morning. Oh, don't you good morning me. Well, what happened? Well, I just had a dream that you had an affair with another woman. And really, guys, your response should never be, really, what'd she look like? <laughs> I just want to know if it's the same dream I've been having. <laughs> Do me a favor, go to sleep, get an email address, let me know. <laughs> Humor is everywhere. I take this stuff with me when I'm on the road. I think about these things that my wife and I do, it just gives me such a great feeling. And if you're married, you know you're going to argue, and the arguments are usually funny. I mean, really funny, because you never know what's going on. I had an argument with my wife about a month ago, and a friend called me up, and I said, I can't talk now. We're having an argument. He goes, what's it about? I said, I don't know. She didn't tell me. <laughs> and they never tell you. you why don't, w women, why don't you tell us what it is? And you know something's wrong because we're going out. We're ready to go to dinner. We're in the car. I look at her, and I say, boy, you look great. She goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I knew it right there. It wasn't even a word. It was just a mm-hmm. I say, something wrong? No, nothing. Nothing, there's nothing wrong. That green light, keep going. Green light, keep going. You sure there's nothing? Nothing, nothing. So you let it go. 20 seconds, you let it go, and all of a sudden you hear, you really don't care, do you? <laughs> Where does that come from? And I look at her, I said, of course I care. That's why I asked you. I asked you what is wrong. And then she says something that is totally illogical. Well, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Well, if you don't tell me, I'm not going to know. What am I, the amazing Kreskin? And guys, what do we do? The dumbest thing in the world. We start guessing what it might be. <laughs> don't do that, because then you're telling her stuff that she didn't even know about. 